o'clock, an Emerson College student badly beaten after a fight outside of a party this weekend in Alston. And tonight, his family says he is unlikely to survive. After hitting his head on the ground, Daniel Hollis was rushed to the hospital where he was diagnosed with a blood clot on his brain. His family says he suffered severe brain injuries. WBZ's Christina Rex is live in Alston tonight with more. Christina? Paul and David, it was right near here on the side where, where Hollis's family says he fell during a scuffle with some college age boys right after leaving a party with his friends. If you needed a smile, you needed a joke, you look at him and he got you. Friends are devastated to learn they may never see Dan Hollis smile again. We're too young. We're not even 21 yet. Like, that's wild. The Emerson College sophomore was badly injured on Saturday night. He's at a Boston hospital, but isn't expected to make it, according to his family. Witnesses in Alston saw the fight on Parkvale Ave around 1 a.m. Saturday. I saw three guys walk away um, yelling at them, and I saw a guy on the ground, and he seemed really hurt. The Hopedale native studies marketing and plays lacrosse at Emerson, and was at a college party with friends before the fight. Hollis's girlfriend wrote on Instagram, You are my first love and the one I'll carry with me forever. You made this world a brighter place and made me laugh harder than I ever thought possible. And that's the kind of guy young Dan Hollis is, a light in any dark room, according to his friend and former hockey teammate RJ Stansbury. I've never, ever met a kid who could just walk in and light up a room like this could. Like, you see a smile and it was just infectious. Like, you having a bad day, you go and talk to Danny. Like, he was the go-to man to make you feel better. And Dan's girlfriend tells me his family and friends are stopping by the hospital in Boston today to say their goodbyes. No arrests have been made yet as a result of this altercation. Live in Austin, Christina Rex, WBZ News.